The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. School for Advanced Studies takes on Florida Christian tonight on School Duel. <laughs> And welcome to School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with the school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. And with so much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, this opening round game features School for Advanced Studies versus Florida Christian in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the second round. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes. Oh, and one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Yes, that's always a hit. All right, now let's go ahead and get started with the warning shot. In this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, hands on the buzzers and prepare for the warning shot. Your first question begins with idioms meaning to announce big news before another person can do it. Finish the idiom to steal someone's blank. Lucas? Thunder. Yes, excellent. First set of points on the board. Second question deals with South Florida. Of Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach, which county has the largest area in terms of miles? Daniel. Miami-Dade. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies? Colin. Broward. Colin. Incorrect, we're looking for Palm Beach. All right, let's move on to poems. According to the poem, Idols of the King, what is the name of King Arthur's sword? Yes, Michael? Excalibur. Excellent, good job. Next question deals with Central America. Like other Central American countries, it borders both the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Unlike these countries, it has no official standing army. Identify this country that connects Nicaragua and Panama and whose capital is San Jose. Yes, Daniel? Costa Rica. Very good, excellent. All right, states. The forest fires that recently damaged areas of this state were started by, Daniel? California. Incorrect, School for Advanced Studies. I'll finish the question for you. The forest fires that recently damaged areas of this state were started by teenage boys dropping lit matches along a trail in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Name the state where the damage was concentrated near the towns of Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Lucas. Tennessee. Very good. All right, movies. Give the title of the 2017 movie set in the South Pacific where the Alpha Skull Crawler is finally killed by the title Gorilla. Yes, Colin. Kong Skull Island. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I Question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties. This is where our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. What nut contains lots of vitamin E and can be made into a milk or sold, yes, Daniel? Almonds. Very good, excellent. And here's a little something on almonds. The nut we know as the almond is technically the hard-shelled fruit of the almond tree, and it's in the peach family. All right, let's move on to the next question that deals with computers. Give the computer term defined as a process often required in a computer system to reorganize the disk by putting files into contiguous order. All right, we're looking for a defrag. Moving on to symbols. What symbol in an email address separates the username? Yes, Josh? The at symbol. Excellent, good job. Two word phrases. 
New Orleans, Providence, and Boston are examples of what two-word phrase that describes a metropolitan area that has decided to limit the amount of help it will give U.S. immigration and customs. Lucas? Um, sanctuary City. Very good. All right, spell the same. What word can mean very, very small or when pronounced differently, a period of exactly 60? Michael? Minute. Very good. Excellent. Life cycle. Fill in the blank as the step missing in a dragonfly's life cycle. Egg, blank, adult. Michael? Nymph. Very good. All right, let's move on to a math question. It does not hold for division or subtraction because the order in which you do the calculation affects the answer. Name this math property that does hold for addition. Yes, Michael? All right, I'll finish the question for you, advanced studies. Here we go. It does not hold for division or subtraction because the order in which you do the calculation affects the answer. Name this math property that does hold for addition and multiplication with or without parentheses because you can add or multiply numbers in any order and get the same result. Yes, Josh? PEMDAS. Incorrect. We're looking for associative. Oh, there's my buzzer. That means the end of the morning shot round. We have a tie game currently between Florida Christian and Schools for Advanced Studies. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended in a tie between our two schools. We have a tie score of 50 points between Florida Christian and School for Advanced Studies. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Jose, I'm team captain, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Lucas, and I'm a junior. I'm Colin, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Tommy, or Joshua, and I'm a senior at SAS, nerdy by nature. I'm David, SAS valedictorian, and I came to win. Yo, we got this. We out here. School for Advanced Studies, go White Tigers! I'm Mike, I'm a junior, I'm team captain, go Patriots. Hi, I'm Charisma, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be part of the Patriot Nation. I'm James, I'm a senior, go Patriots. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm a junior. I'm Daniel, and I'm a freshman. <laughs> Whoa, we're so excited. <laughs> Christian, go Patriots! All right, let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone here,
there, let's go ahead and move on to round two. The Joust, presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, I know you've been waiting. It's time to joust. Jose, Michael, come on down. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Twice as big as the next largest city. Name the largest city by population in the U.S. Michael? New York. Excellent. Good job. All right, Florida Christian, the following bonus questions deal with the most populated cities in the U.S. as defined by the 2010 census. Your bonus question number one is... This second largest populated city is known as the creative capital of the world. Michael. Portland. Incorrect, that's Los Angeles. Your second bonus question, this third largest city by population is one of the fastest growing and home to one of the world's last free zoos. Michael. Cincinnati. Incorrect, that'd be Chicago. Your third bonus question, this fourth largest populated city in the U.S. is the largest city in the big state of Texas. Daniel. Uh, Houston. Yes, very good. All right, Daniel and Lucas, come on down. It's your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss of question worth 10 points. Though now discredited through double-blind studies, Linus Pauling believed that the common cold could be avoided or quickly ended through massive doses of what vitamin? Yes, Lucas. Uh, vitamin C. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> all right, School for Advanced Studies, the following bonus questions all deal with vitamins. Bonus question number one. What vitamin forms in the skin through exposure to ultraviolet light? Lucas. Vitamin D. Yes. Excellent. Bonus question number two. In 1925, two American physiologists found that rats do not see well in dim light if their diets lack what vitamin? Lucas. Vitamin A. Yes. All right. Bonus question number three. What letter name corresponds to the vitamin thiamine? Lucas. Vitamin B. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Josh and James, come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, here's your toss of question worth 10 points. Originally, a U.S. representative and senator from California named this 37th president who eventually resigned in 1974. Yes, Josh? Nixon. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, the following bonus questions all deal with Richard Nixon, and they're all yours, School for Advanced Studies. Bonus question number one. The U.S. was embroiled in what war during Nixon's... Yes, Lucas? Vietnam. Yes. Here's your second bonus question. Richard Nixon avoided having to testify before the Watergate Committee by claiming what privilege afforded to... Ex all... Executive privilege. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. What son of a Greek immigrant was elected governor of Maryland in 1966 and was Nixon's first vice president? Colin. Spiro Agnew. Very good. Excellent. All right, Colin, Rachel, my last two to come on down to joust. All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What is the collective name for poisons injected by snake or insect bites? Yes, Colin. Venom. Yes, very good. The following bonus questions deal with poisons. Bonus question number one. While poison from cobras and coral snakes affect the nervous system, the venom of copperheads and rattlesnakes affect what other system? Yes, Jose? Circulatory. Very good. Your second bonus question. Name the study of poisons, how they work, their effects on the body, and their treatments. Lucas. Toxicology. Good. Third bonus question. What was the common, colorful name of the poisonous substance used by U.S. military forces as a defoliant during the Vietnam War? Lucas? Agent Orange. Yes, very good. All right, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have school for advanced study leading. They have 170 points. Florida Christian now has 70 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more school duel after these messages. <laughs>
From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools magnet programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools magnet programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Now today's game has a school for advanced studies competing against Florida Christian. Currently school for advanced studies is leading. They have 170 points. Florida Christian has 70 points. It is now time for the rapid fire round. During this round, schools receive a category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. The questions are worth 10 points, and if any questions are answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now, since Florida Christian is trailing, they get to pick their category. Today's choices are starts with E or starts with P. So which category would you like, Florida Christian? Starts with P. Starts with P. It's all yours. All right, schools, here it comes. The rapid fire. Florida Christian starts with P. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter P. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. Hands on the buzzer, and let's begin. A piece of cloth to cover a hole in your jeans. Patch. Shoot this into the net to score a goal in hockey. Puck. Virginia Indian princess who became Mrs. John Rolfe. Pocahontas. Set one of these in basketball by standing in front of an opponent. Pick. Science branch that studies mechanics, electricity, and quarks. Physics. The result of a multiplication problem. Product. Adjective for a number equal to the sum of its factors. Prime. To authors, a storyline. To undertakers, a burial place. Plot. Band who made Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall. Pink Floyd. Legendary Penn State coach who was fired in 2011. All right, good job, Florida Christian. You got through all of your questions. You only missed two. So School for Advanced Studies, let's see if you know these answers. Adjective for a number equal to the sum of its factors. That would be perfect. Next one, legendary Penn State coach who was fired in 2011. Lucas? Joe Paterno. Very good. All right. School for Advanced Studies. Your category is starts with E. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter E. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer them quickly or the judge will move you on. So are you ready? All right, here goes. Starting with what a couple does by running away to get married. Eloping. What you hear when your yell bounces off the walls of a canyon. Echo. Third number in a baseball line score after runs and hits. Errors. A single show within an entire season of a TV series. Episode. Adjective for a person somewhere between unusual and crazy. Enigmatic. A musical piece performed after the official end of the concert. Encore. Who played Troy Bolton in the movie High School Musical? Zac Efron. The study of money and how it works and... Economics. Only Baltic Republic that fits the category. Estonia. Basketball player known as Dr. J. Julia Serving. Very good. All right, School for Advanced Studies. You got through all of them. You only missed one. So, Florida Christian, do you know the adjective for a person somewhere between... Yes, Michael? Eccentric. Very good. Excellent. All right. And that buzzer means the end of the rapid fire round. We do have school for advanced studies. 
holding on to their lead. They now have 270 points. Florida Christian has 160 points, but let's go ahead and give them a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. school duel and we've got a good game going at school for advanced study is holding on to their lead over florida christian current score 270 to 160. it is now time for the final showdown this is the last round the schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each and just a reminder if a question is answered incorrectly the other school can steal now this is for a spot in the second round it is time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with farming. Identify the farm animal often raised by 4-H students that is probably healthy if its tail is tightly curled. Michael. Pig. Departments. What cabinet department oversees the Bureau of Engraving and Printing and the United States Mint? Lucas. Uh, the Department of the Treasury. Constellations. This constellation's two bright yellow supergiant stars are named Alpha and Beta. Name this constellation said to pour water from its jar in a stream formed. Yes, Daniel. Uh, the Big Dipper. Incorrect. School for Advanced Study. Name this constellation said to pour water from its jar in a stream formed by nearly 20 stars. Lucas. Aquarius. Painters. What Dutchman's landscape with the Good Samaritan was painted in 1638, a couple of years before his more famous painting nicknamed The Night Watch? Daniel. Uh, Van Gogh. Incorrect. Josh. Rembrandt. Spelling. Meaning a long spear used in a sport in which people see how far they can throw it. Spell Lucas. Spell javelin or? Spell, spell. J-A-V-E-L-I-N. Basketball. Now done only once per game in college, it is still performed after every held ball in the NBA. Jose. Jump ball. Mars. The surface of Mars looks red because its surface has minerals rich in what metal? Daniel. Iron. Prime Ministers. After heading up the Free French, he was asked to come out of retirement and become Prime Minister in 1958. Yes, Lucas. Charles de Gaulle. Movies. What 2016 movie begins after four different alien attacks have wiped out much of Earth? Daniel. Independence Day Resurgence. Incorrect. Schools for Advanced Studies. Colin. Pacific Rim. Incorrect. The answer is the fifth wave. Classical music. The composer Beethoven wrote 16 of what musical pieces that feature groups of four stringed instruments? Yes, Daniel. Quartets. Area. Give the name for the rectangle area along the Mediterranean Sea that was taken over by Israel following the Six Day War. It borders Daniel. Palestine. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies. It borders Josh. Gaza Strip. Drama. Identify the most common large division of a dramatic production, often separated by intermission. Act. Guitarist. 
Considered one of the great electric guitarists of all times, his 2017 album was released after his death. Name this late rock and roll legend, Jose? Prince. Incorrect, Florida Christian Michael. David Bowie. Incorrect, we're looking for Chuck Berry. Multiple meanings. One meaning of this four letter word is to eat very little of a plate of food, while another is Daniel. Fast. Incorrect, School for Advanced Studies, I'll finish the question. Give this word that also means to kiss someone lightly and quickly. Josh. Heck. Historical woman. When young, she was kidnapped and enslaved. Much later, she married a French-Canadian fur trader. Name this lady immortalized on a $1 coin in 19... Yes, Michael? Second, Julia. Elements. Name the only element with no neutron. Michael. Hydrogen. What's one-third of 378? Michael. 126. Oh. Uh. Correct. Planets. Name the sixth planet from the sun. Michael. Neptune. Incorrect. Josh. Saturn. Parts. Oh, there's my buster. And that sound brings an end to the first round school duel game at School for Event Studies. Held on to their lead throughout the game. They are ending with 470 points. Florida Christian is ending with 280 points. School for Event Studies, you know what this means. This win is putting you into the second round. So congratulations. <laughs> Yes. But of course, good job to everyone. Now this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge and today's winner is, drum roll please, Lucas. Yeah, congratulations Lucas on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. I hope you share. And at this time, we want to thank all of our sponsors and you at home for watching. And of course, our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved. You can watch past shows and even compete for prizes at home. And please remember to use our hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as Jupiter High takes on Park Vista High in another great opening round match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.